Independent testing of, of the Tesla Semi has revealed the true real world range, driving at highway speeds of 62 miles an hour. Not done by Tesla. This is done at a recent trucking event. They tested three different Tesla Semis. And while well, turns out Mercedes Benz were correct, somehow Tesla has broken the laws of physics because the vehicles that were tested at this event were the standard range version of the Semi, not the long range version. And they exceeded the advertised range, even at highway speed, which is not something that anyone thought would happen. I actually didn't think this would happen. I mean, exceeded the range in the real world? Really? Anyway, here's what happened. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Great to have you. There's two different versions of the Tesla Semi. There's the standard range version, advertised as having 350 miles of range. Then there's the long range version, advertised as having 500 miles of range. The long range version has been proven to that it can do 500 miles of range, but at 55 miles an hour, not at 62. So at 62, it might be a little bit less than that, but it did just over 500 miles of range, the long range version. So it may be possible that it is capable of 500 miles if driven all the way to empty. Maybe that's possible at highway speeds. We don't know for sure, but we do know the range of the standard range version with the smaller battery pack, and it's more than what Tesla said it would be, which is quite a shock. The media is not going to like this story. In fact, there's no media reprinting of this story because I think it's not interesting for them. It's not sensational enough for people to hear about. Anyhow, three different Tesla semis were tested on the first day. They had a Tesla Semi, which we'll call that Tesla Semi number one. Apparently, it did 335 miles on a single charge, but there was still 17.5% energy left in the battery. Speed the truck was operating was 62 miles an hour on a highway. So it was doing a, the normal speed for what trucks are allowed to do in most countries around the world. It did 335 miles and still had 17.5% battery capacity left. Truck number two. Truck number two did 227 miles over six hours, operating at around the same speed, around about 62 miles an hour. It had 27% state of charge left in the battery. However, this vehicle apparently, I believe, was loaded more heavily than truck number one and truck number three. Truck number three, I'll share those details with you in just a second. So that's the range when it's loaded more heavily. We don't know the exact weight, unfortunately, that it was loaded with. Truck number three, Tesla Semi number three, was actually driven to empty from full charge all the way down to empty. Now, all vehicles, all three of these vehicles did have a load. They were apparently loaded up to around about close to the maximum. We don't know exactly what though, unfortunately. Truck number three did 377 miles of range with it coming to a state of charge of 1%. There was no buffer. So unlike Tesla's normal standard vehicles, if you get to 0%, you can still usually do around 20 miles of range. That's the average you'll get when you hit 0%. There wasn't that ability with the semi, but it did exceed the range. It drove at 62 miles an hour for almost the entire test, highway speeds, and it did 377 miles, meaning in the real world, it exceeded its range from Tesla by 27 miles. This is the standard range version, keep in mind. So it has the smaller battery pack. It's more, therefore it's actually cheaper to buy. I'm very surprised to see these numbers. And I think that um, trucking companies who are competitors to Tesla might be a little bit alarmed. They might be thinking, we thought Tesla was exaggerating. Surely they must have been exaggerating. That's the reason why Mercedes said, Tesla were breaking the laws of physics because they were kind of having a dig at Tesla saying, we think they're lying, but it turns out Tesla haven't been lying. So they've done an amazing job at getting this kind of efficiency. Now this comes about a week after we've seen Patka, Mercedes, and some of the biggest trucking companies in the world fully commit to electrification. In fact, electric truck sales in Europe are really taking off. And many industry experts are now saying it's game over for hydrogen when it comes to trucking. They believe that electrification is unquestionably the future. This may, in fact, just add a little bit more ammunition to that argument for the side of EVs. The big problem here, though, is Tesla's capability. I think Tesla could probably sell potentially 100,000 of these per year, but they can't make that many. It's going to take them a long time 
to scale to that point. Of course, we know they use 4680 cells, probably the higher energy density version that are going into the Cybertruck. The key here, like I said, is scaling up the numbers. But fortunately for Tesla, their competitors aren't really scaling it either. They're trying, but it's really challenging to be able to do this, to get these kinds of efficiency numbers. And obviously Tesla's competition, are their efficiency numbers are well below the Cybertrucks, are well below the semis. It's just reality here. It's a challenge. Can it be done? Will the entire trucking industry go electric? Absolutely. You can guarantee that's going to happen. The question isn't if, the question is simply when. And this new information, in my opinion, it's going to be shown to many trucking companies. It's going to be shown to many customers. That's the whole point of the event. The whole point of the event was to test these vehicles in the real world for customers and other trucking companies to see what these vehicles actually could do. It's almost like a sales event in a way. And I'm really amazed with these results. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching.